Hey guys, Nick Miller here today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you an extraordinary nice piece. So this is a 1992 Case International 495 utility tractor. Uh, off the top of my head, I think these are 53 horsepower. Um, this tractor, as far as I've tracked it down, it is a two owner. Um, it was bought, I'm not sure the exact year they purchased it, but this belonged to a private small golf course here local at home. Um, they pulled a 12 foot finish type mower behind it, uh, was kept inside, and it is an immaculate clean tractor. The red paint and the black is all original. This tractor has not been painted. We have studied that, looked it over, talked to them, um, which we're going to show you a lot of stuff today. The zinc plating, it's in places that if it was painted, it wouldn't be there. Uh, there is no paint lines, the rubber gaskets and whatnot. It's just an absolutely beautiful little 495 utility tractor. So this tractor had, and they're sitting over there, and they go with it either way. If you don't want them, great. You're not off the price of the tractor. If you do want them with them, you will pay the difference in what it costs to ship them extra with the tractor. There is a set of turf tires, and that's what was on this tractor. They had the original tires and they were dry cracked so we got brand new rubber and put on um, it is just a very very nice clean tractor um, real quick i want everybody to understand we go above and beyond the extra mile and yes i know things are starting to change and you know we got people out there today that they don't <laughs> they call us well is it really the way you say it is we don't know how to put this out there any more accurate than what we do we take more pictures we do these videos but yet today for instance we had a gentleman drive five hours to look at an attachment which we sent him video just like we're doing here now of it running working being used and he still asked for us to hook it up and run it because he told me he had no idea whether it was the same piece of equipment that he looked at in the video or not i i don't i don't know today what's going on with the world why it is this way but there again, we're taking this time to do this. This is 100% the tractor you're purchasing. It has a serial number on it, which we're gonna show you here in a second. Uh, we're gonna show you all about this tractor. So let's start back right here at the back end of this tractor. We're gonna go completely around it. Coming to the back, you're gonna see it is category one three point hitch. Top link is on it. The zinc plating still on the top link. Draw bar is in nice shape. Now they did add this top piece and they did it right. It is not welded fast, it was bolted fast. And the reason is, is the hitch on the finish type mower that they pulled was up high and you can easily remove this. I left it on there just for the purpose of somebody may be able to utilize it. Um, it doesn't look bad. And again, it is bolted to the draw bar and can be removed. This tractor has a set of rear remotes, which is nice. Top link again is with it. Does have adjustable side arm here on a hand crank back axle housings you can see the zinc plating for the roll bar are all still zinc plated you can see that the factory paint is actually still on those two hoses this tractor only has 2200 original hours on it reflector decal you can actually see where the decal over the years has shrunk up a little bit there are the original decals of the tractor rear marker lights four ways rear work light headlights all work just the way they're supposed to. BKT, uh, 14924s in the rear, brand new. Tits are on them. Up front, um, they were a Firestone, uh, three rib classic tire, 6.0 by 16, brand new. The only thing that we did paint, obviously the rims, we painted them the wheel origin silver they should be. And while we had them off, we touched up the end of the hubs whenever we put them back on. Everything else is original. Um, alternator charges, injection pump, everything is dry, starter decals on it. I found it ironic. They disabled the switch so nobody could use it, but it even had an ether injector on it. And I thought that was ironic. They used a, D a John Deere small can and the can itself is actually empty. Anyhow, it's probably bled off, but that stuff is all intact and it's there. And generally that stuff's all missing. You can see here the rubber edge, nothing has been painted. Um, it's rubbed through, I mean, this is a plastic fairing here, so it's rubbed through to its orange, which would have been the undercoat of the plastic. You can see here on the steel, it has not been painted. 
Battery box area had that opened in the photos. You can see that coming up front, front grill surround is in very nice shape. There is one little mark on it right here. Other than that, the grill honeycomb, everything is nice. This headlight was cracked. They did order a brand new one from Case and put in. Um, serial number on this tractor, we do want to show you that. As we said, we would. Right here it is. JJE. I need to get glasses. 009933. We did service the tractor. I ordered all the filters. We did buy Napa filters and put on it. Changed everything. We also went ahead and greased it. This does have an adjustable front axle. It can be set in for different applications. Um, Matt, you head up there to the operator station. I'll come around the other side. So, stupid <laughs> things like the horn works. Um, has a, a manual stop. This was, like I said, they disabled that ether aid switch. Um, low, low and high range with reverse on a left-hand shuttle. Four speeds in each range. Um, parking brake works. Ironically enough, whenever you turn the key on, the parking brake light even flashes in the dash. Temp fuel gauge, tachometer, and hour meter all work 2,204 hours. Headlights work. Little warning decal right here still works. Um, seat is original to the tractor. You can see there's one little mark right here, one little mark right there. Um, over here, there's a decal. It shows 1,936 RPMs is exactly 540. Even gives you your breakdown of mile per hour, uh, where you need to be, what gears. Here's your activation for the one year remote, PTO in and out. There's a speed over here of draft control, how fast up and down your three point will go. And it shows here draft control for heavy loads, light loads, up and down for the three point. You do have a diff lock. And you can see from the pedals, the pedals are absolutely beautiful in this tractor and they reflect the hours that this tractor has. Other little things I looked at, there are little plastic plugs there to put in place from factory that you can see the ones over here, they're there. Just kind of ironic and neat. There again, we're illustrating what this tractor actually is. It's a pretty cool tractor. It does have a sunshade on it. Again, we did run the serial number. It is a 1992. So I'm going to fire tractor up right now. We're going to run it around. We're going to show you it does everything it is supposed to do. Here we go. I'll go ahead right now and turn the four ways on. You can see they work. And I'll turn the headlights on now and the back work light. The turn signals there work. Again, hand throttle, foot throttle. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take the parking brake off. I'm going to head into low range, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear. Brakes are excellent on the tractor. What I will do now, I'm going to go ahead and back up. First, second, third, fourth. You have all your ranges. Power steering is beautiful on it. Back into high range now. First, second, third, fourth. Downshift to third. Downshift to second. Downshift to first. This would be an awesome little utility hay raking tractor. Put a tether behind this tractor, brush hog behind this tractor. Just, I don't know, it's a pretty cool little tractor. My grandpa was always a New Holland Ford guy, I guess you should say. I have a New Holland I race with. I love that old tractor. These old tractors like this, they were made to last. PTO. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take down the three point. So you can see that. Three point coming back up. PTO out. There you can hear the remote. If you are a Case IH guy, you 
will appreciate this tractor. It is just a very, very cool piece. I like neat stuff. I like stuff like this. It's, it was truthfully preserved. It was taken care of. The golf course that this come off of, again, they're a very small, privately owned um, customers of ours also. And their maintenance there is good because there's money there and they take care of their stuff. Um, so, that's something to always, I always like to look at when I'm buying something. So, we're going to go ahead and throw this down into low range. Well, we're on the second gear. I'll step the throttle up there. See there, clutch doesn't slip. Go ahead and keep both brakes. So that way you can see everything is working the way it's supposed to. Throw her up four gear. Fellas, there you have it. Really, really nice old clean tractor. And again, I really like stuff like this because they quit making this stuff a long time ago. Anything newer in 2012, in my opinion, on a lot of stuff is garbage. Um, whenever missions took over, I forgot to turn the lights out. When emissions took over, that was the end of the good quality stuff, and that, that's no argument that anybody won't look as 100% fact. Um, it's a shame today, some of the stuff we are left with and the way it is, uh, but there again, this is, this is a prime example of what was, used to be, uh, and still should be today, the standard of engineering and quality. This was something that would last. Today, you're never going to see that in the newer stuff. Never going to happen. Everybody out there that truthfully wrenches or knows anything about mechanics knows that and sees that with this older stuff. That's why people are buying the older stuff. No admissions, older tractor, built to last. Um, but this is a very clean 495. It's something I'm very tickled to own. Um, very, very nice piece. So if you want to combine, check it out yourself in person. I don't care. Bring your cousin's brother's uncle who once was worked at a case dealership 35 or 40 years ago before this was even produced. That's usually what we end up getting anyhow. We have nothing to hide. It is what it is. Again, it does come with both sets of tires. I'm not taking anything off to keep those other tires. You either take them or you won't. That's just how I'm going to do it. Um, I do feel we are going to price this tractor extremely fair in the market compared to what a lot of stuff is for what this tractor is. Um, I do truthfully believe if there is a guy out there that will appreciate this for what this tractor truthfully is. A nice, clean, original piece. So 814-658-3066. Please check out our website, www.marksupplyco.com. As always, thank you guys very much for checking out our channel. Checking out what we have to offer in the used equipment line. We do keep a lot of different things and we do try to keep a lot of nice quality stuff uh, because that's what sets you apart from everybody else. So again, we take a lot of photos. We do these videos. I'm doing it for you guys, the customer, not myself because I could be doing other stuff right now. But I feel that this is the true and only real way to represent used equipment. Thank you very much again as always. I'm Nick Miller, 814-658-3066. Have a great day and thanks for checking out Mark Supply Company.